All right, no, you're awesome. So, no, I'm very proud of you, dude. Thank no, you. look at you. Look at what you, you know, look what you've accomplished in a very short period of time. Yeah. Got your own place. You're working tons of hours. You know, you got a good job at a respectable company with a with a great owner. You know, a government official, no less. Mm -hmm. And he knows your history, and he's willing to help you out. And you're working hard for him, and you should reap the rewards. But you know what that's for? Yeah, yeah. That memorial? I want to stop by. Did you see the video? No. Did you see my video? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna change directions on this just real quick. This will take just two minutes. <clears throat> Somebody showed me on their phone that on when they had it like taped yeah. off and everything. They where I went right there and I went under the bridge. I was just I was yeah. just there for like ten minutes. Just all right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a memorial that was put up for Luz Savina, the Spanish woman, 50 years old, blind, got murdered with a rock underneath the bridge in front of us. It's freaking sad. Happy Labor Day, everybody. I hope you're not working because it's supposed to be laborless day, I guess you could say. Oh, that was a pun. Well, here's the deal. I am, uh, I like these little, when I leave the house things. Nice little back road action. But, uh, <laughs> not less than 15 minutes after I posted that video this morning, which would be Monday morning from yesterday, Malik had called me. So... Being that it's a labor list Monday, I'm heading over to pick him up. He needs to get some items from the store. He worked 70 hours last week at his at his job he's had for about a month now. Knocking out his probation fees, taking care of business, doing the right thing. So I'd be more than obliged to give the, give the man a hand. So that's where I'm going to be, and that's where you're going to be very shortly. All right, hang tight. Yeah, there's been a lot of, I've known a lot of people that lived here. You know the guy that married that woman lives right above where I did? Uh, no, I, I really can't say that I do. Dude, he lives literally right above where I'm at. Man, oh man. All right, so I had just put up that video and you had called. Okay. Here it is Labor Day. Yes. I'm with my man Malik. And nobody, what do you got to say to the world? And nobody barbecuing today. Well. Oh, it's all right now? Oh, yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up? I what so. I have to say, um, <laughs> what I have to say, what do I have to say? Well, really, just humble man for everything, honestly. Just give us an um, update on what's going on. Okay, so uh, I got me a place up here at the extended stay. I don't want to say this spot. <laughs> right? No, that's that's. I got, I got, I got. Um, I finally got me a roof over my head. Um, through your own hard work. Yeah, it took me almost what two months. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a minute. It's been a month and a month and three weeks, man. Yeah. Well, there you go. A month and three weeks. It's Fifty oh. days. Yeah. Fifty long days. <laughs> Fifty long days. Well, let's not make it any days. longer. You needed to get some shopping. You gave me a call, and I was like, "Yeah." Yeah, I need to get some stuff for the the, the for spot. your apartment. Yeah, for the apartment. Well, I call it an apartment. It's a hotel, but yeah, it's yours. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Right. Is it a one-bed? They, they call it apartments, too. The, well, I mean, I would. It, it, yeah. I mean, it technically is. It's just a, it's like an efficiency, I guess. Well, you know, people call their, their, uh, man, I got to help this guy. I think I know him. Broke and ugly. Oh, I know that dude. Um, his name's Tarzan, to be honest. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I don't know said broke and ugly. I'm gonna give him a few dollars. Well, here. Grab my lunch. There's a lunch. And I got a drink. Okay. Just Ooh, a water. I'm gonna need one of those later. <laughs> I started making one time to fuck with me pimping, the other one saying, need to re up. Fuck with me pimping. <laughs> How you doing, Tarzan? Yeah. There. 
What's that? I met you over by Walmart. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Come yeah. We, I gave you that big backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got the camera on your chest. Yeah, I remember you. All right. That dude is wild. He's a survivor. He's been under 26 years, I believe you said. We gotta have fun with it, I guess. We gotta joke about it, you know. Well, I guess if you can't make make light of your situation, you're just gonna yeah. drive yourself crazy. Tell me why. Wow. Yesterday. It's been like, alright, so I got it. I got the place on Saturday. I haven't been able to do anything. I still haven't even like showered and stuff yet because I have to clean the place. But um Oh they don't clean it for you? No, they do, but You want it your clean. They were yeah, that too. They were in the process of doing it on uh Tuesday, they said no. The lady actually came in um to I guess do some cleaning, but um one I was in underwear and two I was told her I was gonna like clean it myself. But um yeah man, I've been calling like taxis back to back, back to back and oh, boy. nobody's been picking up the phone or anything. Yeah, I'll just, I need to get this place like type of down. It's not bad though, like I, I went over a little bit, you know, with like rag and some water and some stuff like that. Well, there's a couple different jobs. You want to go to Dollar General, right? Oh, um, Dollar got, Tree. Dollar Tree? Yes. Okay, I know where uh, one is. They're, they're, I believe they would be cheaper. Well, Dollar I mean, General might have better stuff. I would probably think that myself. I shop yeah. at Dollar General all the time. Personally, hmm. plus you get that coupon for next Saturday if you spend twenty dollars or more, or uh, no, it's twenty twenty five dollars or more yeah. in one part you get five dollars off. Hmm. So you get twenty percent off your purchase. But you know, even though it's Sunday, you get a coupon today. What do? You and you know, we can go to both if you want. Yeah, that's, it, that's, that's, hmm. because the Dollar sure? Tree is closer. Are you sure? We can go to both? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's go to both. Actually, if I wouldn't have spent $50 on the pizza yesterday, then I was like, yeah, we can go to the What are you store. doing? $50? I was, bro, I haven't ate in like three days. And I was Yeah, so but hungry. 50 bucks. Well, it was 35 something. And then I tipped the driver like 15 bucks. Because, you know. Well, but you did work 70 hours. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's why I received some here. Well, okay, now, do you I, get an actual paycheck, or is this like, you it's, know... It's a it's a paycheck, but they pay me in cash. Like, it's my check stuff. Okay. Well, no, I, I, yeah. I, I can't see while I'm oh, well, driving. But, uh... 64.50 hours. Oh, wow. 65 so, hour week. Yeah. And, uh... So, you're getting the official overtime and the whole deal. Yeah. Correct, okay. Correct, correct. Time and a half for over 40. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. It's I like, just wanted to make sure you're being treated right. That's like $25 over time. Um, yeah, I'm being, I'm, I'm being treated right. We can, we can talk about that. It's not too much, but. No, I know. I, no, well, if you're not, then there's a problem because your employer is, is a significant person. No, 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 no. Every, being treated right, guys. No, Casey, hey. Casey, you're awesome. If you ever see this, I love you, man. You got to tell him. Well, I guess you are. <laughs> no, I'm very, I'm very opinionated though. They, they know I, I very much speak my mind. Well, it's like an hour and fifteen walk. I'm like, uh, hour and minute, uh, an hour and fifteen minute walk. I'm like, oh my goodness, no. To this tower tree? Yes. Well, yeah. let's go in and check things out. Let's go grab everything. And well, the doll store is only another mile down the street. Oh, okay, awesome. awesome. On probation now, do you? I got a Coke and a Dr Pepper. Or do you want a water? Um, I'll take the water. Okay. I think I need the water right now. Sounds good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Dollar Tree with young Malik. My man's got it going on. He's working tons of hours, taking care of business. He's got his own place now. And uh, things, I guess, couldn't be better. And he called me about an hour ago and said, hey, can you help me out? I was like, yeah, man, let's go. Here it is Labor Day. And he needs... nobody barbecue. Yeah, nobody barbecue. Well, these are some people here down on their look. We're at the Dollar Tree. I don't get here too often. He wanted to get some household supplies. Oh, you're over here. I walked the whole entire store and you're 10 feet from the door.
Because you get to eat at work, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's working that many hours. If you're working, you know, 12 hour days and stuff, you probably get to eat twice, don't you? Um, yeah, but sometimes, barely, honestly, not really. If you have time. Just, yeah, just okay. if I have time. Okay. This is, and that's a good thing. I can, I can get food and bring it home from work. I'm going to tell you a true story. I work at the, it's called the Ram's Horn Restaurant back in Michigan okay. when I was 16, one of my first jobs. Mm -hmm. And I worked 11 to 7, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. on Friday and Saturday night. And then all the drunks would come in and they'd be all loud in the dining room. And it was, you know, kind of a party zone, so to speak, you know, the after hours hookup. Right. And I was the dishwasher, so the lady that brought in, you know, the, well, all the waitresses would bring the food in in bus tubs and stuff. Yeah. Then there'd be plates of burgers and fries, and I would eat the shit out of that. Yeah, it's been, it's been, I, it's been a few times. I'm not even going to lie, this you one, know, because I was like, this burger wasn't even bit into, you know. <laughs> these fries, you know, are brand spanking new. And, uh, you know, as a teenage boy, you know, you get hungry. <laughs> I'm not blaming you at all. I'm, uh, that's the facts. All right. Some bleach. And I'll just wait for you to come out. We'll toss all that in the trunk. Okay, cool. All right. I shouldn't be too much longer. I'm gonna just look here and then look at some. Hey, take your time. Just be, just be. Uh, Conservative. <laughs> well, savvy. You know, be smart. Yeah. You know, I know it's easy to spend money when you get it. I really wouldn't know because I don't get much. You know? <laughs> but uh, all right, I'll see you in a bit. I say, why don't you wheel the whole buggy out and then just bring back the buggy? Oh, oh, that's the deal. Yeah. All right. I want to walk away. Well, I gotta pop my trunk. Okay. Yeah, you're not shy. Yeah, yeah. I got a little bit of stuff. I hope I have enough room. It's like, oh, the trunk's open. I'll get the other stuff. Okay. So, uh, this is the big stuff. Well, uh, I guess if you can find room. Um, you know what? It'd be easier if I took this box out. Take that box out and set it on the floor. Both of those. On the floor, on the ground. And then we could pile yeah, in the rest. That, yeah, set that aside. Yeah, I can set that in the back seat much easier. There we go. Here's your water. Awesome, awesome. I don't know if the stick will fit. I'm sure it will. And then... That's the last of it? That's all of it. Awesome. If you want to double check. I got this. Put on. It, it was reasonable. It was reasonable stuff though. Like I think. Oh well, yeah. It could uh, be worse. That's for sure. Twenty-five to thirty of it went on just food. So. Well, you, you probably know. wouldn't be eligible to get food stamps because you're working. Yeah, probably now. And then, well, the last thing you want to do is defraud something when you're on the, uh, you know, probation. Exactly. Yeah. So. No sense in that. Exactly. Alright. So, I feel good about the shopping. I appreciate it a lot. 
I know we still gotta go other places, but I'm like, let me try and get everything while I'm right here. I really been wanting like tacos, so I got like tortillas and taco stuff. There you go. Maybe some burrito later. Yeah, it's, only, it's only right up here. But I still not have to walk. That's my only concern. Yeah, the well, and I'll, then when you do, you want to take advantage of your opportunity to be there and then buy a bunch of stuff. Then it's like, how the hell am I going to get all this back home? Yeah. You know. I got me enough. I, you know, I didn't get food from work, but I got me enough food uh, to, to last me a little bit, hopefully. Do you got... Uh, like any opportunity to watch TV or oh you know oh thank you for reminding me that's the only thing I forgot to look so they told me if I buy a universal remote they'll pay me the money back for it because I don't have a remote I haven't been able to watch TV in three days so but they'll have universal remotes here mm -hmm. oh like a brand new pan toothpaste they be throwing away well, good stuff that in stuff the they throw out you want to take a look they be throwing away good stuff in the dumpsters sometimes. Yeah, I don't mind. Well, yeah, if you want to go ahead and take a look, I'll, I'm going to just drive around the corner here and park in the parking lot. Okay. Right here at Dollar Center. All right, I'll see you on the other side. Yeah. There's some ground beef right here, but... Uh, well, there you go. You think you're good in math? Yeah, I'm pretty good in math. All it right. takes me a little while, but I can, I can... Pick a number one through ten, but don't tell me what it is. Okay. Double it. Add... Add ten to it. Now, cut it in half mm -hmm. and subtract the number you started with. We can start over if you want. I got it. You got it? Mm -hmm. You're quite confident in your... I'm going to put my hand on the window there and you're going to tell me if I'm right. Yeah. Five. It was, it was the number I was picking up. But see, I already knew the answer. I probably even asked you. It's just a easy trick. Wow. All right. So you got some beef? I got I my got, buns. I got, I, got, I got two things. Of, um, I'm good to go. I think I'm all ready to go too. Um, um, no, two toothpaste and a, a universal remote, and then I'll be. Ready. I've got toothpaste. You got toothpaste. I've got the big ones. Okay. Oh yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I'll give you. Yeah. There we go. Here, don't sweat that. Um, we got to go electronics. Uh, no, I was looking for the canned drinks earlier, and some tell me. Uh, but it's okay. Well, if you want to look, go ahead. No, I need that, like, you need the universal like, remote. Like, like, you know what? Those are behind the counter. Those behind the counter? Well, they're off to the side, you know, where they can keep an eye on things. Oh, I, I, I'm with the FBI. Really? Yeah, we're investigating quality of customer service at Dollar General's all over the country. Yeah, you know, this was a test. Oh. It's only a test. Okay, 5191. Oh. Well, that'll probably help. Yeah. Maybe it's cool. Thank you. All right. No, I'm just teasing. I, I, uh, I help homeless people out. Here's one of my cars. Oh, I got a YouTube channel. So. Yeah, you're live right now with a th you know, about 10,000 people. Oh, nice. So. Do you have any profound statements for the world? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Um, pasta. Pasta? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
anything pasta. Well, that's a category, not a food. They go. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I'll put that on my loop. Alfredo. Like Chef Boyardee or? Alfredo. Shrimp Alfredo. Yeah. All right. Noah. All right. You get your receipt? Yeah, Noah. Here you go. All right. He needs coupon. Yeah, okay. coupon. All right. Bye, y'all. All right. Have a good day. If you log into my channel, you'll see yourself live. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, All right. They say that, but they don't. <laughs> I get it 10 times a day. Oh my God, I thought I was in my mom's car. No, I just used this the other day. No, it's funny because I, my car's been broke down for two weeks. I had a bad alternator. Ooh, sorry about that. No problem, sir. All right, let's roll out. So now you got a bunch of household goods. Yep. And... You don't gotta walk with 100 degree temperatures. And I'm broke. And you're broke. Well, but at least you got a place to stay tonight where you can call your own. Yeah, definitely. Nothing wrong with that. We're gonna take my shortcut back to your crib. Awesome, awesome. Cause awesome. I know where it is. Just the way it is. $200 in two days. Well, but at the same time, Elite, it's stuff you need, man. Yeah. You know, I'm just, just like every like. It's. I was it doesn't take long. Yeah, I was having a conversation with my boss. I'm like, man, the cost of living and everything is just so. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You know. I appreciate it for real. Yeah. I can get pans and stuff from my neighbor. Well, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. I mean, you can always borrow one at the very least. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't gotta. Like, hey, give me one. But uh. I've been telling them I've been wanting to make um, some burritos. Oh, like, well, man, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So he's like, I got a pan if you need it. I'm like, I'll definitely um, come by tomorrow and get one. What's the best burrito ever to make? If you had if you, if you had all the ingredients you could possibly need, what would you make? I would remake the Taco Bell grilled cheese burrito. The Taco Bell grilled cheese And explain. Um, okay, so... Um... Because they change the menu every week. Yeah, okay, so it's, um, I don't know what all would really be in it, but what my version of it would be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know um, what's in it, I just eat it. Yeah, um, of course the tortillas. Oh wow, that was fast. Well, that's what I'm saying. Okay. You know, it's, this is a, this has got to be less than a half hour walk. I'm telling you. From here to here, the store there, the gas station here, another gas station up the road. You know, hospital. Um, um, I appreciate you so much. Well, bumping into you was was a, a major blessing, man. Like, well, look look what's happened geez. since. Yeah. You know, I'm not obviously saying it's you know anything that I did, you know, intentionally. Well, you know what I mean. It's it's maybe none of this uh, has anything to do with what I did, but at least it helped mm -hmm. in some way, shape, or form. Correct. Correct. You know. Bringing you to probation and stuff, that's pretty important. You don't want to freaking go to jail on a violation for a no show. Right. I, I'm, I need to start making sure I do check in, but I know I'll be okay once I show them, you know, the hours I work just alone, you know, it was like, it was really hard to. They could care less on the hours. They want, they, they care on, on the money. Oh, yeah. How much do you have to give them? Well, I have, I have until the end of this month to pay them so okay i'm, I'm good all right well that's yeah, all that I'm starts to say. um yeah that starts this that starts this month this month i was supposed no here's your road right now okay Man, matter of fact well it's a fast drive not a long walk this is one yeah. one seventh the, the size of the, the probation distance Oh, yeah. You should try to get on the call list where you can just call and report and make you can make your payments online. Yeah, I'm trying to uh they're really not like like so I I can't they're just I don't know. They while well, they want to own you. I don't know. Um, no, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. But I mean just, come on. I mean, it's just let's just call it a spade a spade. They want to own you. You know. It's, it's you are seven minutes late, you're going to jail. So they do that. I know. <laughs> they do that. Bro. I know. It's like I fucking showed up. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like 
well the uber driver that cost him 20 bucks to get here was late you know it's like i live five miles from here i can't walk here and get here on time when i get off work after a 70 hour week right i'm thinking about applying right here as well there's a other plant right here too yeah it says like five or six just on this road alone yeah this one two three four and like like two or three more a little bit more down investigate what they do i forgot um they, they it's like well they got docks so a forklift driver yeah you got skills oh yeah yeah definitely you can yeah. drive forklift mm -hmm. you got any certifications it's been a minute um no i did not but you know what that's for yeah yeah that memorial i want to stop by did right you see the video no. did you see my video all right i'm gonna i'm gonna change directions on this just real quick this will take <clears> just two minutes <throat> somebody showed me phone that on um, when they had it like taped yeah. off and everything they were i went right there and i went under the bridge i was just i was yeah. just there for like 10 minutes just all right all right ladies and gentlemen this is a memorial that was put up for luz Savina, the spanish woman 50 years old blind got murdered with a rock underneath the bridge in front of us Freaking sad. He's, he's amazing. Man. Look at this. Seriously. Another memorial. Yeah. Where was she? Where was she at? She was. Like, I don't. I don't know the exact location, but it was underneath this bridge. Then they caught the dude. His name's Fred. He lives right. He lives right above where I'm at. Literally, like. I right thought above. that's what you were trying to talk yeah. about earlier, but you didn't quite say it. But right, right above. He did live. <clears throat> he's in jail. Yeah. And I passed. Him. Sorry. That's because I'm all salty. I met that woman. Yeah, I met her a few times. I'd be seeing her at probation. Did I'd, you see? I'd did you see the? Did you see the the video with me and her? Um. Yeah. 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 You did. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's thirty two minutes, I believe. Not that it matters, but I've seen a lot of your videos. I've seen a lot. I've seen a whole lot. I didn't mean to ask you about some of the people you'd be bumping into. I'd just be so. Well, concerned with your own stuff. I'm not going anywhere. I mean, I live right down the street. Do not back in the spaces. You know why they say that? You know why that sign's there? So you won't hit the pole? No. No. It's so the cops, when they drive by, they can read your tags. Oh. Uh, without having to get out of their car. Think about it. Yeah. I'm dead serious. Is there if I just walk in there and set them down somewhere? Yeah, you just bump it. Look at this, guys. Malik's crib. Oh man, you got a big ass TV. Why is that? Are you trying to figure that out? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm, I'm really concerned on this. Yeah, this is it, man. I'm gonna have to probably uh, better than a tent. Yeah. What's what I was talking about? I want like a carpet right here. That's right just there. yeah. That's no. I got it. No, I get it. I probably uh, got. Like it's it's the moisture from under here. It it, it 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 seeps. It's like you would think something got spilled on there. But yeah. Yeah. Good. All right, man. You're in uh you're on the tall grass now. Yeah. I guess that's a good thing. So. All right, you have some observant neighbors. Oh, you do got a microwave. How awesome! Yeah, yeah those plates. Those plates will help out. Yeah, I got the microwave. For sure. Just don't microwave your burger. <laughs> That's the only thing I have is the sorry bro. The free bread is pretty good size. So we'll check it out. Yeah. No, that looks uh. It's cold though. Well, it's enough for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is that? Dragonfly? Or sloth? Who knows? Pterodactyl. Right. And it's bottom of, uh, yeah, get your stuff in there, man. You got some frozen so goods. I got it. Okay. You got your pizzas, man. Yeah, I got food. I got food first. So, yeah, you are. Right. Well, it's there. 100 degrees. They're, they're in a box. So they're not going to get dirty. But you don't want them to thaw. Right. All right, man. I'll let you get to it. I appreciate Fantastic. it. Fantastic. All right, give me some. Thank you, man. You're Good awesome. deal. When, when's, the, when's the next time you got to physically be at probation? What day? Um, Today's Monday. I just, have, I just have to show up sometime this week. So I'll probably, I'll probably try, I'll probably try and go there, uh, Friday. Hey, man. 
Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, that's very. Look at you, man. You're you're good to go. No more taking a dump in a five-gallon bucket out in the <laughs> woods. You know, one more time. Thank you, man. You're welcome, Thank sir. You so much. No, I'm glad you got all set up. Get that. Uh, I just thought of this. Batteries. Yep. I too. That's why I didn't say that. I don't want to That's exactly about. what I was thinking. Yeah. I'll tell you what. You walk to the office. They'll give you a couple double A's. I'm sure they will. Mm, yeah. They probably got 20 it's remotes there. Sure. It should connect. Hopefully so. I would walk up there right now with that unopened and show it to them. Oh, they're close today. Oh. Yep, Labor Day. So they'll be back open tomorrow. All right. I'll talk to you, man. See you later. All right. Give me a call. You're awesome, you're awesome. All right. No, you're awesome. So, no, I'm very proud of you, dude. Thank no, you. look at you. Look at what you, you know, look what you've accomplished in a very short period of time. Yeah. Got your own place. You're working tons of hours. You know, you got a good job at a respectable company with a with a great owner. You know, a government official, no less. Mm -hmm. And he knows your history, and he's willing to help you out. And you're working hard for him, and you should reap the rewards. You know, sure, go Braves. Thank you, man. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you. Talk to you All right. Oh, man, what a great story. This is this place. It's not uh, it's not the Ritz, but uh, <laughs> it's not a tent. It's shelter, electricity, shower, toilet. Wow. Man, I'm so happy. He called me and told me the story, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm coming. I don't care. You know, Sundays are, well, actually, it's Monday. But I took the extended day because I went out yesterday knowing that, you know, <laughs> Monday would be a, a thing. But uh, All right, we're going to sign off. I'm going to get this up to you, but this is about, about a three-hour video. I got to trim down. But, uh, all right, we'll be talking soon. Thanks, guys. Be back.